And this morning, the wait continues for a panel of judges in D.C. to decide whether former President Donald Trump should be immune from prosecution for trying to overturn the results of the 2020 election. CBS's Jared Hill has more from New York. And I feel that as a president, you have to have immunity. Former President Donald Trump insisting he cannot be prosecuted. The defiant stance as he waits for a three-judge panel to make their own ruling in a case centered around whether he's immune from criminal prosecution for the events leading up to the January 6th insurrection. If a president has to look over his shoulder or her shoulder every time he or she has to make a, con a, a controversial decision and worry after I leave office, am I going to jail for this? When my political opponents take power, that inevitably dampens the ability of the president. His attorneys insisted the only time a president can be prosecuted is after they've been impeached and convicted in Congress. Prosecutors pushed back. The president has a unique constitutional role, but he is not above the law. The three-judge appeals panel also appeared skeptical. Judge Florence Pan posed a hypothetical to Trump's attorney. Could a president who ordered SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival who was not impeached, would he be subject to criminal prosecution? If he were impeached and convicted first. With the Iowa caucuses on Monday, former President Trump said that the case forced him from the campaign trail, though he appeared in court voluntarily. Meanwhile, Trump's primary rivals argued his legal woes would be a distraction if he won the nomination. If Donald Trump is the nominee, the election is going to be about legal issues, criminal trials. Regardless of how the judges rule, the losing side is expected to appeal. Jared Hill, CBS News. Any appeal could make their way to the Supreme Court, and that puts Trump's next tri trial date, March 4th, in jeopardy. And it's a busy week for the former president's legal battles in general. Closing arguments are expected tomorrow in Trump's New York civil case.